Hello YouTube fam, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Tina and I make videos on lifestyle, home, and DIY projects every single week. And for this video, I'm using items that you can commonly find at thrift stores and I feel like that's the case when I go there. I don't always find the best items. Whenever I go to the thrift store, it's honestly a hit or miss for me and I know it's probably the same with you guys. You either find really amazing gems or you just find kind of boring items. And other times you go there and you just find basic items and this is definitely the video with the most basic items. For the most part, I feel like you could find similar items to this at your local thrift store and I really love how each project came out and I can't wait to show you guys how I made them. And before we jump into it, I want to say thank you guys so much for all the kind messages from the last video. You guys are seriously the kindest human beings ever and I'm really proud that I have you guys in my community. So thank you for supporting this channel every single week. All right, with that being said, let's jump into the first project. Hello from voiceover Tina. For our first thrift flip, I'm starting with this woven charger plate and I feel like these are very common at the thrift store. I always see some sort of woven basket plate and this one actually has some wear and tear on the outer edge so it definitely needed a makeover. So to start, I removed some of that braided edge with some cutters and luckily this was just on the outside and not woven into the rest of the plate so removing it wouldn't affect the rest of the weaving. This part ended up being a little bit time consuming, but it was totally worth it because now we're left with a clean edge. Now I'm taking two pieces of paper and I'm tracing the inner part of the plate and I'm gonna cut that out afterwards. Then to adhere it, I just use some masking tape to line the outer edge and this is going to cover the inside of our plate, protecting it from paint. So to give our charger plate a little bit more of a modern feel, I used a matte black spray paint on top. I gave this two coats and I made sure that I got in between all the little small gaps of the weaving with each coat. So after that dried down, I went ahead and removed the paper and you can already see how much contrast that black creates. So there were a few spots where I missed the spray paint, so I just went ahead and used a paintbrush and some paint and got into those little crevices. And since this paint is also matte, you really cannot tell the difference. Next up, I'm going to paint the little wicker pieces that are used to hold everything together with a matte white paint. I thought this would add some interest to the design and I used a teeny tiny brush to make sure that I wouldn't get any on the plate. And with these woven plates, you can definitely do so many different designs and colors. There are seriously endless possibilities of what patterns you can do with this project idea. I would definitely suggest heading over to Pinterest or Instagram to find some inspo. Also, I didn't go all the way into the center with the white paint. I knew our mirror would cover it, so I just did the outer edge. All right, so here's how it's looking. I'm gonna go ahead and glue a mirror right to the inside and I'm gonna keep that as centered as possible. And I used E6000 glue just to give it a strong hold. Lastly, to hang up our mirror, I went ahead and added a small piece of string to create a loop on the back. This simple upgrade totally transformed our charger plate from an outdated wicker decor piece to a modern and boho mirror. And this mirror is great because it's totally functional but can also serve as a decorative piece and a gallery wall. I had a lot of fun doing this piece and I think it's such a great way to upcycle some wicker plates that you commonly found at the thrift store and I hope it sparked some inspo on what you can make with them for projects in the future. For our next project, I'm using a vase from Goodwill and I feel like this is a really basic one that you can totally find at any thrift store. I also found this giant bundle of shell necklaces and I've actually been looking for these at the thrift store for a while and I'm so glad that I found it this time around. So the first thing I'm doing is adding some grip onto the vase by using a coarse grit sandpaper and this is gonna add a lot of texture to it. The next thing I'm doing is just taking apart the shells from the necklace so I just cut the string and I'm also going to use some other small ones that I have in my DIY stash. The vase that I have is pretty petite so I just picked out some of the smaller shells. So 
So I'm gonna use this grout adhesive and grout in one and I'm just adding on a layer right onto the vase. And of course I'm wearing latex gloves just to keep my hands protected. This first layer is gonna add a nice ceramic texture to the vase and we're also using it as an adhesive. So I'm taking my shells and I'm pressing that right onto my vase and I'm gonna place these kind of randomly. This project is totally inspired by a photo that I saw on Pinterest. I thought it was such a cute piece of decor and seeing this face in the store actually reminded me of this project idea so I totally had to try it out for myself. So now that all the shells are on there, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit overnight to dry. The next day, I went over the layer of grout again just to smooth things out a little bit and I also added on some water as well using a foam brush and my fingers and this is also a really great way just to even out the surface. I definitely wanted some of that texture underneath to peek through, but in hindsight, I think I went a little bit overboard and I would have made my first layer a little bit smoother with the brush. This DIY project is totally an experiment for me, so I didn't know if it was going to work or not, but I just went with the flow. I really wanted my shells to look like they were pressed into the grout as if it was a seashell in some sand, and using the water really helped clean the grout on top of the shells. So I basically just repeated this process of adding the grout in small layers until I got the texture I was happy with. This vase upgrade is such a fun way to add some texture to any glassware or ceramic pieces you find at the thrift store. The seashells definitely add a fun natural element for that extra beachy boho vibe. I think the grout worked out really awesome, so if you have any leftover from a previous project, definitely try out this technique. So I saved the easiest DIY for last and I found this cute glass bud vase at the thrift store. I really love the shape of it. I think it looks really unique, but I also realized that it is an Ikea vase. So if it is still available, I will link it down below. The first thing I'm doing is to rough up the surface with a coarse grit sandpaper. I wanted to give the vase a quick color update. So this is going to prep our vase for some spray paint. I think this purple color is pretty, but it really isn't my vibe. So I'm using spray paint in heirloom white by Rust-Oleum. This is such a great off-white color, so I would totally recommend it to you guys, and I'm gonna do light layers of this onto the vase. And when it comes to vases like this with curved edges, you definitely wanna flip it over in between coats just to make sure that you cover the entire piece. So while that's drying, we're gonna work on our reed diffusers, and I found these gorgeous wood flower ones on Amazon, and I thought our vase would just be the perfect vessel to use as a reed diffuser. So this came as a kit, but I wasn't too sure about the assembly, so I ended up just adding a dab of hot glue onto the flower and placing it right onto the reed. So these wooden flowers are actually carved from solo wood and I think they look so realistic and beautiful. I actually looked up a DIY video to see if I can make them myself, but it definitely takes a specific skill set and tools, so this kit was perfect. I saw these wood flower diffusers on Anthropology, and this project was totally inspired by it. This is such a fun decor item, but it's also really functional, so when I saw this vase, I knew that I had to do this project with it. Now it's time to put it all together, so I'm first adding in my fragrance oil into the vase. Then I'm adding a few sticks of our wooden flowers as well as other dried florals to complete our diffuser bouquet. How cute does this look, you guys? Now we can all diffuse our oils in style, and you can totally take this idea and run it with any type of vase. So whether you paint it or leave it as is, I thought this was a great alternative use for vases from the thrift store, and I absolutely love it. So those were all the projects from today's video. Let me know down below if you guys have found similar items from the thrift store before and if you've also DIY'd them before. I definitely think that the mirror was my favorite because that charger plate is definitely something that I see all the time at the thrift store. It's definitely one of those items that has so much potential. So when I was going into it, I was really unsure of the design, but I'm really happy with how it came out and I love it so much. I hope you guys like that idea as much as I like creating it. And if you have a favorite, definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below for new videos every single week. If you recreate any of the projects from today's video, make sure that you tag me on Instagram. I really love seeing all of your projects. And if you haven't already, make sure that you follow me. I post on there every single day and I also share behind the scenes on my stories and I love interacting with you guys. So feel free to give me a DM over there. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Stay inspired and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.